Hi everybody, I'm Mike from Arcan Trailer. Today I'm really excited, I'm gonna show you our new Heartland Bighorn fifth wheels. Uh, this is the 3300 DL floor plan. Um, they're a beautiful, beautiful coach. They're packed with features. Um, they, they basically hold nothing back in terms of construction. So there's a lot to go over today. So let's get right into it. Um, first of all, the Heartland Bighorn. A little bit of history with Heartland is, uh, long story short, they're a fifth wheel company. That's what they specialize in. That's what they do well. Um, they have countless patents over the years and have innovated tons of technology um, that, that are used all over uh, North America and different RVs. So uh, one thing you'll notice with the Heartland Bighorn right off the bat, is it's big. And when I say big, I mean it's got the straight roof line throughout. So if you look at another fifth wheel, you'll notice even in the full profile coaches, they'll start to kind of taper off towards the back. Because of this, they're able to give you a seven foot three inch slide out uh, height inside, which you'll notice when we get inside, I'm six feet tall and I have ample room standing in the slide outs. Um, on this particular one, you'll notice, so all the, all the big horns come with a drop frame and that gives you a huge pass-through storage, okay? And that is heated in there. So these are warranted for full-time living and they are four-season rated coach. Um, part of what we bring in with the Bighorns is the Diamond Elite package, which I'll go over a little bit more uh, later on. Part of that package is the, uh, the Yeti package is included in that. What they have in the Yeti package, kind of a play on the whole Bighorn thing, um, it, it, that's its four-season package. So with that, you get upgraded insulation in the front and rear caps of the trailer with the radiant foil, uh, equivalent to R38 in value. Um, each holding tank on here has a 120 volt large holding pad on it, or heat pad on it. Um, that's in lieu of like a small uh, 12 volt one that you'll often see in, in some of the competition. Um, the 120 volt ones are bigger, they'll work better, they'll work off your generator if that's, you add in a generator or when you're plugged into your, your 50 or 30 amp service. Um, and then your main water line is also heat taped with a 12 volt sensor on it. So it'll sense once it gets down below zero degrees and it'll automatically initiate or activate that heat tape and keep your water line thawed. And then it's also wrapped with insulation. So that's all a really big deal in these and that's the reason you can kind of stay in uh, in this thing so much later in the season, especially up here in Canada, than you can with an, a traditional fifth wheel. So getting back to this coach, uh, it does have the second awning. That is an added option that we do um, in addition to the main awning. So two big power awnings on these guys. Uh, you'll notice nice big uh, G-rated tires. The Bighorns use the CRE 3000 more ride suspension system. So if you have a look underneath, you'll be able to kind of see Basically, there's three inches of, of extra play in that suspension. You combine that with the rubberized pin box up front, and that'll basically stop any chucking from happening. It's a really nice feature to have. Nothing toes quite like it. Included in the Diamond Elite package is also four shock absorbers. So on each tire has its own. So again, the, the nothing toes like it. It's got so much extra suspension. Everything is so overdone, overbuilt, that uh, it, it, it hauls really smooth. And that's really important when you're hauling around a 12, 14,000 pound coach. Um, it, you know, you're gonna feel that even in the biggest of trucks and, and the extra suspension is, is imperative to a good haul. Um, back to the tires for a second, they do use Lion's Head tires. Um, they have a longer warranty on them. Like I mentioned, they are G rated and um, they are nitro filled as well. So they'll run a bit cooler. And then going up to the sidewalls, they use what's called Lamalux 4000 fiberglass. So it is very um, efficient at reflecting heat. It has a nice white gel coat on it. That's what gives it its sheen. You, when, and looking at the walls, you don't see kind of all the fibers. Now inside the wall panels, they use Asdel. So you've probably heard that term thrown around. It's becoming more popular, but instead of the Luon wood, they do use the Asdel panels that they bond the walls to. Uh, it's impervious to water. It's got better insulation. Uh, it reflects more sound away. And um, you know, it, it also runs quite a bit lighter, which is important in a, you know, a 12, 14,000 pound coach. So um, we can head inside. We've got the quad entry solid step here, the large grab handle. Part of the Diamond Elite package as well is this new kind of style entry door. They call it the Euro style. Um, so a little bit nicer, friction hinge door. But let's head inside and check it out. All right, welcome to the beautiful interior. So you'll notice right away, very eye-catching, um, but still kind of subtle modern 
um, color scheme. Different tones of grays, browns, all melted together beautifully. Very modern looking. Uh, stone countertops, of course, at this price point is a standard. So you'll have that everywhere in the kitchen. Um, you've got the nice upgraded appliances, three high output burners, the big convection oven with the glass front, convection microwave, okay? 18 cubic foot two-way refrigerator. Okay, so that'll run off gas and electric. Um, the, you can get it with a, a, an electric fridge as well if you prefer the residential style, but this is two-way. Lots of extra counter space, outlets everywhere, cabinets everywhere. And one thing that's really cool is the entire coach is controlled right here from this screen. So I can turn uh, all the lights off or all the lights on, individual ones, all your device controller here, so your power awning, your fan, your hydraulic leveling jacks. So all the big horns have a um, hydraulic six point automatic leveling, and you can control that here or from the pad outside like in ages past. You can also control your hydraulic slide outs in here. So um, hydraulic slides, the big benefit is, is there's a lot of power with them. They are big, heavy slides and the hydraulics moves them in and out, no problem. And in the front compartment of the coach, you can also adjust which slide out goes in or out first um, because they do come out at the same time. So it's kind of a nice feature. Uh, you can update the firmware in here. They do release updates kind of sporadically. You just insert your USB after downloading it on a computer. And if you added something like a generator after the fact, the wiring's already there. Once it's hooked up at an RV dealership, you can, again, uh, firmware update this. It'll sense that there's a generator now installed and you can start it and stop it from this screen. Pretty cool feature. You don't even have to go outside or anything. And it's all done right here. It's a really cool feature. Up here, if you have a look, there's a Wi-Fi router as well. That comes standard in all the big horns. Um, there's a Wi-Fi signal right now. As soon as you plug this thing in, there's a signal. Um, it just doesn't have any connection until you put a SIM card in. So buy 15 gigs from TELUS or wh whatever you want, and then you have a router, uh, a working router inside the, the trailer. So really cool features, nice new technology. I was talking a little bit about that slide out um, height, and you can see I'm in the slide out with tons of extra space. This table does come with an extra leaf spring slides out there's two extra ch fold-up chairs inside the master bedroom you've got day and night shades roller shades it's really nice these are electric recliner they're also lit underneath heated and massaging so they basically they basically do everything and that's right in front of your entertainment center they've moved on to 4k tvs now <laughs> Um, which you must have when you're camping, right? Um, DVD player underneath, uh, Bluetooth, that, that's your, kind of your central hub for entertainment. And then you've got the electric fireplace, full size, uh, 40 inches. Um, that'll put out 5,000 BTUs of heat uh, without burning any propane. So just back on that topic for a sec, this does have a 40,000 BTU furnace. So even without the Yeti package, it still has the largest furnace you can get in the industry. A lot of the competitors are using a 35,000 BTUs. So that's quite a bit bigger, especially when you combine it with the extra power of that fireplace. Um, you can see nice accent lighting throughout. Again, those really tall slide outs gives you tons of cabinet space. So like this is all usable pantry. Dual air uh, is standard. You can, there's an option to add even a third air on the bigger units. Um, it does use the quiet cool AC system. So you can see these are your air intakes here. You don't actually see your central uh, air conditioner. And that's still ducted throughout the, the ceiling. Um, that runs about 28% quieter and they say about 50% more efficient because the air, it's just circulating air inside the unit rather than expelling and taking air from the same spot. Uh, let's head upstairs, check out the rest of it. So beautiful washroom, solid surface, um, one piece vanity, his and her sinks. So really nice for that um, full time and couple. And then you have the nice kind of call it a spa shower. It's got the teak seat. That's part of that diamond elite package. Glass doors, beautifully finished. Fantastic fan, standard. Uh, this particular one we did bring in with dual pane windows. That is an option. So you'll see the little insulated window sticker on all the windows. Master bedroom. So it comes standard with a TV in here. Chest of drawers, sliding doors for uh, the entranceway. And one of the really cool features in the Diamond Elite package is the king bed is on a tilt. 
So great for watching TV and creating just a little bit more floor space. How often do you see this much space in a fifth wheel? So there's plenty of room to change, clean, you know, all those types of things. Um, panning around, you do have a nice big closet. We are prepped for washer and dryer here. Okay, there's a couple outlets in there, or you can just use it as closet space if that's not your thing. And then you have your walk-in closet. There's your two extra chairs and uh, your extra leaf for your table. That's just where they store them at the factory. Um, if you get the Dyson vacuum option, that will come in here as well. Some of them have it, some of them don't. Depends if we order it with that. And uh, yeah, that about does it for the Heartland Bighorn 3300. I'm Mike from Arcan Trailer. I'll catch you next time. Hi everybody, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. This way you can stay on top of all our trailer demos, our walkthroughs, upcoming promotions here at Arcan Trailer. I'm Mike, I'll catch you next time.